Welcome back. This is day seven. We're going to start today with some breath work. The breath work we're going to do is similar to Wim Hof. It's going to be a very full breath in through the nose and then a half breath out. We're going to do that for 20 times. Then we're going to breathe in fully, hold, then breathe out fully, and then return our breath back to normal and do three rounds of that. So the breath is going to look something like this. <laughs> So we're breathing in fully and then out half or three quarters and we're going to cycle that 20 times. I will be counting and so you don't have to and I'll let you know when you breathe in and hold and then breathe out, return back to normal and then another round. Okay, so find yourself a comfortable position. If you haven't done this before, just please listen to your body, what it needs. If you feel lightheaded or a little bit tingly, that's very normal, but also just listen to if it feels a little bit too much and perhaps you need to open your eyes or turn your breath back to normal, just take care of yourself and listen to what feels right today. Okay, so moving a little bit your body, starting to take some deeper breaths, just noticing what movements feel relaxing and opening for you today. And the yawns, grunts, or groans are very welcomed here. And returning yourself back to stillness. And we'll begin the breath in three, two, one. In fully and holding. And relaxing your body as much as possible. Any tension in your face, neck, chest, stomach, arms, legs. Just relaxing and breathing out. Returning your breath back to normal. Beginning in three, two, one. And in fully and holding, relaxing as you hold, just feeling the tingling sensations in your body, the aliveness that comes with that breath, the wakefulness that we're inviting into our body the stillness that's here. And breathing out again, returning your breath back to normal, just allowing yourself to really embrace and open to this breath work cleanse that we're doing to start the morning. Beginning the third and final round in three, two, one. Let's go. And in fully and holding there, noticing the fire in your belly. the beating of your heart. And when you're ready, gently breathing out. And returning your breath back to a normal rhythm, allowing the breath to breathe itself. And as you return back to this openness, 
I invite you to welcome in with radical acceptance whatever is there alive in you today. Whatever problems your mind is telling you that the world has or you have, whatever thoughts, to do's, radically welcome that all in. However you're feeling in your body, whether you notice joy, playfulness, or love, attention, anger, sadness, or fear, welcome it all in. Give it space. Let go of having to manage it or deal with it and just say, you're absolutely welcome here. In this home, you have a bed. And just allow yourself to soften. something the other day that said if I was to give you a million pounds or dollars or euros yen how would you feel how would you feel receiving that money knowing that you'd got all the money you need for your life to be completely free to do whatever you want so just now I'm Imagine, visualize the feeling in your body, really invite it into your body that you have an infinite amount of money. Let's say that, let's go further. You have an infinite amount of money. How would that feel to be able to do whatever you want with your life? The things you want to create, the pursuits, what you can give to your friends and family. the stress that that would alleviate from your work or any time pressures. Imagine that there's very little that would upset you in this moment. At least for a, a few moments, you would just be impervious to whatever news. Right, you'd feel like, great, I can pay for whatever I need to the solutions or problems, I can make things happen, I can build things, I can build security, safety, create, explore myself, my passions and desires with my family and friends. And now if I said, you can have that unlimited amount of money, but you won't wake up tomorrow. What would you rather, the infinite amount of money or waking up tomorrow? I'm sure all of you would say I'd prefer to wake up tomorrow. And so waking up tomorrow is infinitely more important, more valuable than an infinite amount of money. And yet we don't feel that way on waking up. We don't wake up with that millionaire smile of just saying yes to life that freedom that that might bring yet we have it still so i invite you today to really connect with and embody the value of waking up you woke up today you are here which means you have time you have health that you are sound of mind in <laughs> most ways, <laughs> maybe not all. There are people that support you in your life. There are people that you love. There are things that you enjoy. There is purpose that you have in your life, as big or small as that may be. And that, surely, 
is more valuable than anything. So with that up, really feel the value of that, the gratitude, the thanks in the fact that you woke up, you're breathing. And in doing so and being grateful for something is waking up and recognizing the value and the preciousness of that. You become easy to please. And when you're easy to please, life is sweet and nothing really needs to happen for you to be content and grateful and giving and present. Take a really nice, big, generous, deep breath in through the nose, into that energy. And a big sigh out of the mouth. We woke up. Thanks to God. Another day to explore, to play, to have fun, to love. Enjoy it. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next day.